Child sexual abuse is a grave public health crisis in Nigeria, robbing many children of their innocence and safety. Reports show that 90% of abusers are familiar to the survivors, making it even more challenging for the affected children to seek help. Also, for those children who have reported violence, fewer than 5 out of 100 received any form of support. Many survivors are unaware of how to report abuse or access support services. However, a child-centered non-profit organization, Checheyara Child Advocacy Center Foundation, is providing comprehensive care, protection, and legal assistance to child survivors of sexual abuse and those at risk. Mrs. Bisi Ajayi Kayade, Chief Executive Officer of the Foundation, says they employ a multidisciplinary team approach to comprehensively address the needs of children affected by sexual abuse, from case reporting to psychotherapy medical, legal assistance, and access to justice. Ajayi Kayade says the foundation operates a shelter that can accommodate up to 85 children temporarily, offering a safe and regulated environment where survivors can heal and rebuild their lives. Miss Eno was devastated when she discovered that a 14-year-old niece who was under her care was defiled and impregnated by her sister's brother-in-law. Eno said she was introduced to Checheyara Foundation through a friend after all efforts to hold the perpetrator accountable proved abortive. The foundation provided free medical assistance and legal support to pursue the case in court. Enna revealed that since reporting the case, she had received a lot of backlash from her sister and husband who were aware of the abuse but kept it hidden. 21-year-old Amina did not hesitate to report her stepfather who had serially defiled his 11-year-old biological daughter. It took the intervention of a church member who took her to the foundation where they provided free medical and legal support. The case is still in court. This singular brave act that Amina showed had earned her a bad name in the family as she was thrown out of the family house and now sleeps in the church. A significant barrier to supporting children and accessing justice is the prevalence of negative social cultural complexities associated with case reporting, where some parents pressure their children to stay silent. Experts and advocates say the stigma associated with abuse and the culture of silence discourages survivors from speaking out and seeking help. Ajayi Kayode, however, says the foundation is addressing this challenge through awareness and prevention campaigns against acts of child sexual abuse. Say something. Say something. 